beginning to understand, you know, what's uh, the rule of blood vessels in the fat tissue do. Uh, so I actually uh, started uh, more than 10 years ago in my lab. So we did some experiments. The hypothesis was very simple. You know, fat tissue grows just like a tumor. You need a blood supply. What happens if you block new blood vessel growth and blood supply? Would you be able to stop fat cell expansion? So we did a very simple experiment in, um, uh, in obese mice. You know, the animals become obese, both genetic, genetic models and also high fat diets uh, induced models. So we treated those mice with angiogenesis inhibitors. And what we found was really surprising because uh, the treated mice actually look much slimmer and, and reduce body weight and they look more healthy as well. So one of the most interesting findings in that experiment was the antiandrogenic drugs actually can improve insulin sensitivity. So being obese is not really a major problem, but the obesity-related metabolic disorders like development of type 2 diabetes is a major medical problem. So if angiogenesis modulators is, you know, are able to increase insulin sensitivity, so that's a big win in that area. So I think we have a great future. So we, you know, our lab is still working heavily on that on that area. Uh, we think that, uh, you know, blood vessels plays a major role to modulate, uh, you know, adipocyte functions. So it's a really, really very, very exciting field.